For the past year, we've been showing you how California's effort to save the winter-run Chinook salmon, a fish that's been almost lost to dammed rivers and warming waters. Yeah, it's part of a growing partnership between state and federal wildlife agencies and a small California tribe that's been fighting to save these fish for years and bring them back home. On Monday, a historic pact was signed to expand on those efforts, and our Wilson Walker was there. Wilson, tell us about it. All right, well, for starters, let's set the scene here. I'm at the Keswick Dam here on the outer reaches of Redding. If you are a salmon, this is the end of the line. You cannot swim through here. Even if you could, the you know, Shasta is just up the river. So this has become the terminus for the winter run Chinook. They need cold water. There is not much of that between here and the ocean. That is the situation facing these fish. The effort to save, the, save them is dire. And now it includes a remarkable partnership. That's who I think today, you know, if we put down our footsteps and we put down some songs, that that's who we're sending that out to is our, our elders, our ancestors who were here before us. For Kaleen Sisk and the Winnemum Wintu tribe this day, would have seemed improbable or impossible just a few years ago. A tiny California tribe without federal recognition signing a formal agreement with state and federal partners when the moment arrived to finally sign the documents the tribe's spiritual leader could not help but acknowledge generations of mistrust. Should I or should I? <laughs> <laughs> the only reservation I have <laughs> is against government. <laughs> A reservation about it, whether or not telling me the truth. <laughs> but we went ahead and made those deals. We went ahead and trusted that this would be a good thing to happen. In many ways, the new partnership is the result of a crisis. Drought and warmer temperatures, each intensifying in a changing climate, have pushed winter run Chinook to the brink of extinction. Their last best hope is a return home to the McLeod River from which they have been cut off since the construction of Shasta Dam. It felt like over this past year, we kind of had like a start or a restart to actually maybe two different relationships. One among the tribe, NOAA Fisheries and the department, and then one more broadly among people, salmon and the McLeod River. Oh, see, oh. yeah, he's wiggling, push. Over the past year, we have shown you the incredible effort to save these fish. Eggs flown in by helicopter, to be incubated in the McLeod itself before being released and caught in a trap downstream. So it's been about 80 years since salmon, Chinook salmon have swum in this part of the McLeod River, and here we, here we go. Those fish were then transported by bucket in a car down I-5 to a release point on the Sacramento River. About 1,600 were moved in total, but the new agreement hopes to build on that kind of work. And one goal is to bring wild Chinook from New Zealand, fish that were originally brought over from California, back to these waters, the original genetic line, back where it started. Home is where the heart is. It's where warmth is. It's where the beginning of life is. It's often where the end of life is. Bringing salmon home is part of salmon's future in California. So, Chief, thank you for your leadership in that regard. Bringing the fish home also brings the Winnemum people closer to their original home, like saving the Chinook. That is a work in progress with a lot of hope invested in this agreement. That it's kind of like we are them and they are us, and when whatever happens to them happens to us. And so they're on the brink of extinction, and so are we. And so if we can help bring them back, maybe we do too. All right, a little bit of good news. I uh, mentioned that there were 1,600 of those little salmon that were picked up, brought down here below the dams, and then uh, let go to swim out towards the ocean. How are those fish doing? Well, we can only cross our fingers. Uh, they are thought to probably be nearing the sea by now, and they've had a lot of help. The winter that we just had, which has filled the lake and, and 
kind of charged up all the rivers is obviously great news for those juvenile fish. They've got a lot of current behind them. More water means they have an easier time staying away from predators. So if you're pulling for those 1,600 little fish like I am, this winter has really helped them. And it is entirely conceivable that a couple of years from now, when those fish just magically decide to start coming back this way, that they'll be collected here at the Keswick Dam where they kind of run the fish hatcheries up towards Shasta. And they would probably be able to genetically recognize those fish as being, have, you know, having been dropped in by, ma by man, carried down the river and then come back. It would be a remarkable thing. But the agreement's all about expanding all of this, sort of building out on these plans to get those fish back up in the cold waters. That's where they're gonna have to be if they are going to survive. And I gotta tell you, this is a really cool thing to watch happen in person. It's a remarkable story. Yeah, just a great story and, and a great report there, Wilson, and hopefully those salmon do make it. Well,